All right, we've just been told not to mess up this interview. So if anything <laughs> goes wrong, on. Right the whole it's, time, his by the way. it's his fault. <laughs> Bobby Slayton in town performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. First, he joins us. And welcome back. Good morning. Well, first of all, you know, you asked me while they were doing the weather how I like the weather. I love this kind of weather. You know, every time I come to Rochester, I like it for like a few days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It gives me an excuse to stay in my bed and watch Netflix. Because living in L.A., I'm one of these guys, maybe because I'm an old Jew and I'm, I should be in Florida. But once it's nice outside, <laughs> I, I can't sit inside yeah. and watch television when it's nice outside. So yeah. it gives hey, me you excuse. feel like you got to be doing something. And good by the weather way, for the traffic it. that they were showing, that's, yeah. not traffic. That, that's nothing. No. I know. That's not traffic. <laughs> Trust me, we know. I, I, it's nothing. Because, like in LA, like it, 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 the rush hour, it, it's, it used to be like six in the morning till nine in the morning, yeah. and three in the afternoon. And every year it seems to get a half hour longer. Mm -hmm. So there's traffic all day long. Yeah. But they just showed it. I'd love to live up here. <laughs> Everything's great. great. And by the way, I'm glad to be out with you guys yeah. and, and, and not Doug. Okay. You know, Doug? Why is that? Well, you know, Doug, you know, last time I was here, he, yeah. he got, he just got admitted to the, the New York Broadcasters Hall of Fame and it went to his head and that's all he would talk about. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. You remember that. Yeah, nice. Whoa! Yeah. Doug you see? Makes a Broadcaster Hall of Fame. <laughs> Where's Doug? <laughs> oh, he's going to come in and make it. Thank you for gracing us with you your know, presence. Thank you. I'm going to be late for wheeze, but I'm blaming you. No, no, no. You. Come, come over here. You know what this is? It's like, it's like the old Johnny Carson show where Bob Hope is next door filming a special and he just happens to walk in. It's like Don Rickles. Hey, Bob said, we were just talking about how I, and I, I apologize now because I said he's too big because he, he got admitted <laughs> to the Broadcasters Hall of Fame that now that he's this big star in the broadcasting world, he doesn't want to interview me. Even uh, Norma Quinn, she couldn't take him. <laughs> but but I, and I know Doug doesn't like to talk about himself a lot, but what a lot of people don't know, he was a runner-up on America's Got No Talent. Oh, and I, thought, so I thought you should have won. I is thought this you a won. Doug roast? It is. And I, nobody I'd rather be roasted by than, than someone other than Bobby Slate. Are you gonna, <laughs> it's are an you, honor. By the way, are, you, are you coming to the show this weekend? I'd love to do that. Okay, well, I'll get you free tickets. Tonight? There um, you go. Free, I'd insist on paying. Well, no, you're the Broadcasters Hall of Fame. <laughs> These little people have to pay. Oh, not God. you. Us peasants. Are you yeah. going out? It's enough. Go, go, do a little. Go. And tell Weez I'll be right over. Okay, I will. Uh, tell uh, him. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, God. Doug. That was like exciting live television. Yes. Did you just see that? No. The, the, the big broadcaster. Surprised he didn't take his award in with him and put it on the table. Okay, anyway, sorry. Trust me. I'm we have to make room that. for it every day on the set. No, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, because last time you were here, yeah. you said you've come to Rochester so many times, yeah. and last year was the first time you made an appearance on Good Day Rochester, but now I'm we like a regular. you're a regular. You know what? I like coming up here, and people don't believe me when I say one of my favorite Italian restaurants, Tony D's. I go to Mama San for some of the best Asian food I've ever had. And people go, really? Because I, I, I don't want to call myself a foodie, but my girlfriend and I go out to eat a lot at you know, L.A., New York, whatever city I'm playing in, known for its restaurants. But mm -hmm. Rochester, the size of this town, you have some amazing places to yeah, eat. We yeah, we do. And yeah. the only reason I mention a Tony D's or Char Steakhouse is because I get a copy of this and I get free food. <laughs> I, I was know. wondering why you're throwing out all yeah. these names. Is that what and you're heading for? I get free lunch? Skechers if I put these up in here. Free Skechers? Yeah. Those right. are some fancy Skechers. Skechers. I like those. Those yeah. are nice kids. I do commercials for it's them. It's about comfort, right? They're, they're very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And you want to know something? Walking around in this ice, you don't slip if you're wearing Skechers. Oh. That's going to give me some free shoes. That is a great plug. <laughs> By the way, I heard BMW makes a great car. Well, if you're listening to it. right across the street. You know what? On that note, I, hope, I heard Range Rover is an excellent really? vehicle. Really? They're both fine. And then, yeah, <laughs> handles great in the snow, Rochester snow. No, I mean, call me. <laughs> you, you don't get gold? paid a lot of money. We need, we need free stuff. <laughs> people think people who show up this make a lot of money. And you, so, don't, you don't make a lot of money. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys do fine, but if you're not in the Broadcaster Hall of Fame, you don't <laughs> yeah, do that Yeah, forget well. about that's it. Where, that's where you get it's the big the bucks. the money. Anyway. For, forget about it. I don't Sorry for hijacking room. the interview. But anyway, <laughs> no, you're great. So comedy at the Carlson tonight, tomorrow. Yeah. One of my favorite clubs. You know, yeah. Rochester's a great town for comedy. I've been coming here for a long time. And... I remember walking down Main Street before they remodeled it. And every time I come back here, there's new buildings. It's, 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 We're it's, on the move. It's growing, Still yeah. 10, 20 years, you're going to catch up to Buffalo before you know it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. Hey, but guess what? we got to pay the bills. Yeah, we gotta go on to that break. note. We're going to have more with Bobby Slayton when we come back. <laughs> <laughs> on the next Modern Family, Cam is going back to his roots. Another fresh one, courtesy of Princess Slayer. Another new name. She's already been Egg Ryan and Chicken. A look at your forecast, 749. We're seeing some lake effect snow showers out there this morning. Those begin to taper. We'll see some breaks of sun throughout the day. Highs uh, struggling to reach that freezing mark. Yeah. All right. Comedian Bobby Slayton is in town performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. First here with us on Good Day Rochester. Bobby, we're actually looking for a fourth anchor on this show. Are you available? A full what? 
Oh, anchor. Anchor. We anchor. need a news anchor. I'm, need a... I'm not really doing much. No? So you you're know. free? So you're free. Yeah. I think you'd add a lot of life to our show. <laughs> I know that. Well, it's not hard. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at That's what I'm okay, putting hey, in the pickle economy. Put me on the show and I make fun of you. <laughs> well, yeah, Doug, Doug left, so I got to make fun of somebody. <laughs> No, it's you know, okay. my, my daughter and my girlfriend won't let me get away making fun of them. And, you know, that's why I like stand-up comedy, but things are getting so out of hand now. I mean, you guys especially, you know, <laughs> you can't make fun of anybody anymore. You know what's going on, you know, yeah. especially if you're on morning radio, morning television, or, you know, in the workplace, or the Me Too movement, it's all good. But stand-up comedy, when you play a club, it's one of the last places, I think. Yeah. I mean, you see what happens to everybody, and I'm not saying they don't deserve it, Louis C.K. or Matt Lauer, this guy, that guy. You're afraid to touch anybody, talk to anybody. But when you're in a comedy club, you know, you can still get yeah. away with a lot of stuff. Don't, yeah. don't even look at me, okay? Yeah, you, you, you got to worry about everything. <laughs> Everybody's like, so uptight about everything, you know? Uh, back to hiring you, because I really think you would add, be a great addition to talk about our traffic. I mean, you already had something to say. Right. About <laughs> right. The problem is, <laughs> I, like, I just seem to take over a little bit. Now, you know. I love it. You know, I can do everything. I yeah. Can, I can multitask. Do the weather, do everything around here. You'll be running the I cameras too. Speaking of traffic, traveling. You said you went to Spain recently for a film. Well, I went to Spain. Yeah, I was telling you this before. I, so you asked me what I was up to, and you know, I just like to stay home. I'm, I'm just tired of traveling. You know, I've been doing this for so long. I got, I think, 10 million miles on my butt, frequent flyer miles. So it's getting a little old. I mean, I like the job. Mm -hmm. I like coming to Rochester. And, I mean, I. I, I, I hate to complain because I have 22 hours a day that I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I have two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, and I go back home. But I got a call from Woody Allen, and uh, over the I had worked for him before in a few movies, and um, you know my manager called me up and goes, Woody Allen wants to know if you're available to go to Spain to do a movie. I go, let me check my schedule. See, I think I might have the Chuckle Hut in Boise this week. But, but, but he might have to rearrange his schedule and his filming over my little comedies. So anyway, I, I said, yeah, I'd love to go. And so I get the script, and you only get your lines. Mm -hmm. Woody doesn't show you the whole script. And I get this one page, and I called up my agent, and I go, well, what about, what about the rest of it? They go, no, that's all you have. And I go, there's one line in it. No, seriously, one line. Yeah. So, because you're in the union, they have to fly you first class. So. They fly me first class, they pick you up in a car, and they, first class to Europe, and I get there, and they put me up for five days in a hotel for one line in a movie. Not bad. And I like that. Yeah. And some people go, well, maybe Woody will give you more material. I don't want more material. <laughs> I, I can't memorize stuff. One line was plenty. I was saying, easy to remember, right? And then he said, I'd like to add them something. I want to do another line. I go, two lines? You're doubling my part. I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> but it was so nice to be able to go to Europe over the summer and, and spend five days. Because mm -hmm. I like wine. I'm a big wine guy. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sitting in the hotel, and I look at the wine, and I go, well, 16, 17 bucks a glass. You know, it's pretty much standard like a regular New York uh, re restaurant. Mm -hmm. I go, yeah. I'll have this uh, white wine, 17 bucks. They bring me a whole bottle, and I go, I just wanted a glass. I go, no, it's $17 for a bottle. And I said, you know what? I could live here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's now, a good bargain. Are you the bargain. type that, you know, you go through the whole taste testing process of the wine, you look at it. I'm so the... bad. You do that? I, I, I go to Trader Joe's, I buy $6 bottles. My girlfriend knows good wine, so, you know, she keeps my, you know, my wine. I, 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 don't, I don't care. As long as it tastes good. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> as long as it's not white Zinfandel, I don't care. <laughs> you mentioned your girlfriend. You told us you were dating a younger woman. Yeah. She would never, yeah. No, you're getting you know, all up in his business. I, I am. If, if, I, if, if I thought her any of her friends were watching this, I wouldn't say this, but she's 56, and I'm going, I feel so old. <laughs> that is young. I never thought, yeah, well, I'm, I'm 64, and I go, and I never thought I'd be dating a 56-year-old woman, but <laughs> that's a, it's, a, it's a young chick. I'm not sure you can even say that on, the, on TV. I, 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 I'm, it's I'm okay. sorry. It's okay. The Me Too movement. I, it's okay. A, a young lady. You know? And I got a 31 year old daughter. I feel so old. You know? Yeah. You know, it's funny. You have kids? I do. Three of them. Because it's funny. You know, when my daughter, I couldn't wait for her to grow up and move out of the house like most parents. And then when they grow up and move out and you're stuck with your wife, you realize, you know, how come your wife can't grow up and move uh, out? And your children uh, stay with you. How come the, honey, that you know, you're, honey, you're 50. Check Bobby yeah, Slate now. Yeah. Two shows tonight <laughs> and two saying, shows I, I, tomorrow. Kevin Carlson, <laughs> just like a woman. I'm going to wrap this up. No, I'm kidding. Great. Good to see you. I, now, I'm start, now I miss Doug. <laughs> I never thought I missed Doug. You did it, Alexis. You made me miss Doug. Are you happy? Are you I, proud of yourself? Local headlines coming up. <laughs> this month,